times, you know, trying to get my business together and uh, some interesting information today. And my question for everybody is this question. This seems to be the only business that I know of that people don't talk about how much money it costs them to do what they do. In other words, would you open up a business where you didn't know what your return on investment was? And I'm surprised that I talked to some quote top producers and I asked them the following question. Well, that's great that you got all that. How much did it cost you the last couple of years to do your business? And they go, I just pray every year when it comes time to tax time that I have the money for the tax. And I sit there and I shake my head and I go, what? So what do you think about that philosophy? Because at the end of the day, we're in real estate sales, not real estate HTTV. Well, I mean, what do you mean as far as people not putting back for taxes? In other words, they, they have no idea what their cost is. Mm -hmm. In other words, so consumed by, hey, I'm a top producer. I got XYZ award and I sold mm -hmm. this many houses. Well, how much did it cost you to do that? What was your drop off rate? Uh -huh. You know, so forth and so on. And they couldn't tell you. They, they wouldn't have a call of clue. Oh, they, they don't even know what their business cost them. No, but they ride the roller coaster. You yeah. Know? It's the nature of the beast, right? Because the thing is, is like we're basically running this massive like business and we're really just one person or may have an, we may have some may have an assistant and some people. But a lot of people aren't running their business like a business, you know, as far as like keeping their books straight and looking at the P&Ls every month and, you know, seeing where everything's all the money's going and how much is coming in and what the real profit was and you know, where we can cut expenses and where we can even add more expenses to, to produce more. What's working? What's not working? And people don't really run their business like that, which is how everyone should run their business. Um, hey, listen, I'm included there. I don't I don't necessarily I kind of ride the roller coasters to a certain extent. However, I do look at my P&Ls. OK, uh, and every so often, every quarter, my bookkeeper, we sit down, we have a meeting. We kind of go through everything, but month to month, you know, whatever. But the thing is, is that if you're running one of these like massive teams where you're spending a million dollars a year, you know, that's scary. <laughs> that's that's scary. But if you're running a single agent business like I am, whereas I don't really like the only expenses I have are like my assistant, you know, Red X, Constant Contacts, you know, MLS, uh, you know, like a few like some little fees, right? And that's why that's another reason why I preach to run your business like the way I tell people to do it because it doesn't cost any money. You know, it doesn't cost any money. $200 for Red X. Um, you know, $20 a month for constant contacts. Right there you get thousands and thousands of leads every month. Bam, right there. Hey, and, and I'm a big believer in, and I, and I, I posted it. I'm a big believer on getting free things because you can get there's golden people out there. You just need to talk to like the barber, the uh, the people around who talk to people on a regular basis and say, "Hey, I'm in real estate. You know, who do you know who who might need the house service with a real estate person?" And I say yeah. to them, "You know, if you don't know somebody now, maybe you will. Keep me in mind." And I've yeah. Got referrals there. I mean, you know, listen, that's one way to build your business. Not everybody's going to talk to their barber about real estate. I'm one of them. I never did the talk to people in public about real estate thing. That was never me. Never will be me. Um, you know, um, so. But there's like there's different ways to do it. OK, and listen, if you're going to do it the expensive way, it's crazy because the amount of people that watch this that try to avoid making calls. OK, by spending thousands of dollars on leads just to turn right around and call them is absolutely ridiculous and scares the hell out of me.